Hi everyone, so in this video I'm gonna covering that if you're you have any Apple tab, Apple device or iPhone or any iOS which uh, because of entering wrong password and if you don't know the password it starts showing the iPad unavailable try again in one minute or sometime you still don't know what's the password and sometimes it just goes fully uh, unavailable uh, and sometimes like when you keep trying the wrong password first time it's gonna show you one minute second time maybe five minutes and then it's gonna stop showing the time and then you have to reset so if you don't know the password for your tablet and if you want to find out how you can reset that uh, I'm gonna tell you step by step how you can reset or remove any password of your any tablet you have any Apple device it's very easy all you have to do uh, follow my video step by step and before doing that uh, if you're finding this video helpful please make sure you like subscribe my channel uh, for future updates and future uh, videos like that so let's start with so uh, for example this is the tab I have uh, uh, if I don't know like when you try again look fun fun more time I tried it's showing uh, five minutes now so it's unavailable for five minutes now uh, uh, it doesn't matter I'm just gonna tell you how you can reset so this is like uh, I think I iPad ninth generation but it doesn't matter which generation you have the process is all same the devices so uh, for this one all you need the if you have this one is lightning port so you need a, a USB to lightning port cable uh, which is this one I have and you if you are on Mac or Windows PC you all you need the iTunes app to connect with your Apple device so I'm just gonna uh, do this on Windows laptop I have the same exact process you can follow on the Mac so it doesn't matter so I'm just doing on the uh, Windows because most of the people have Windows laptop so uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring this my Windows laptop here so uh, this is my Windows laptop uh, it has uh, let me zoom into that you know, see better it has Windows 11 in it uh, so yeah this is Windows 11 in this one um, you can same process you can do on any Windows 10 Windows 11 so first I'm going to tell you how you can download the firmware for your tablet uh, which is compatible so for that you have to go to the Google Chrome so this is the website I'm just going to put the link in the description as well so it's called IPWS downloads uh, which is for the apple devices so when you scroll down you'll see iphone ipad imac so because we we have ipad so i'm just going to click on that and then it's going to show you all the models latest model ipad mini uh, ipad mini a7 pro whichever you think your one you can select the exact model of the size as well uh, and then for example i'm just going to select mine mine is i think iphone say uh, sorry ipad 6 no this one this one is mine so yeah like i already downloaded but i'm just showing you so when you click on your uh, relevant uh, ipad this as you can see showing a check here and ipad os 18.2.1 this is released on 16th of january 2025 uh, which is like a couple of weeks back and if you go down you're gonna see the older version as well which is showing cross is being maybe they're older now not gonna support but you have to download this latest one so when you click on this one like that and here you can scroll down and download this file from here uh, this this is like 8.55 gig uh, when you download that file it's gonna look like this i downloaded already i'm just gonna show you now so that's how the file is gonna look like um, yeah that's that's one so now for the second thing you need is itunes like i told before so just open your itunes here and when you do that so in the same time you have to connect your ipad with your with your laptop so uh, just 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 connect the lightning port with your with your iPad and then you have to plug the USB into the into your laptop so now once your iTunes is up and running so you have to connect your your iPad with the laptop and then uh, once it's connected with this you have to put your ipad into recovery mode and then it will start loading here how to do that with my ipad because it has button uh, uh, so i'm gonna hold this button and the power button and for a while and when it start restarting i have to leave the this home button so if you have the latest uh, ipad you have to hold the volume button so you can check the instruction online uh, how to put your exact model ipad in, into recovery mode so i'm just going to do with mine press and hold both and when you see the screen will go off 
and when you see the apple logo then you have to leave the home button and keep holding the power button So as you can see, just hold that and then leave the power button. It is in recovery mode now. And you can see there as well, my, my tablet is de detected as well. It says there is a problem with the iPad that requires to be updated or restored. So here, if you haven't downloaded any software to your web, you can go with this route, which you can update. When you click on update, it's gonna download the exact model uh, for your for your ipad it's going to download the exact model or the latest update for your ipad and then it's going to start restoring it if you already downloaded your own update you want to select that you don't want to go with the latest one or you, you just want to download what you have for that how you can do that from the keyboard you have to press the shift button i'm just going to show you now from the keyboard you have to press the shift button and then you have to click on update when you click on that it will open the fire explorer or where with the whole browser where from where you can select your uh, uh, like download or firmware so as you can see i down my downloaded was here in the restore that's my firmware which i want to select and update you can select that and then open when you do that uh, if your ipad can't be updated you will need to restore it to affect its factory resetting so it's gonna it's gonna uh, reset everything on this uh, ipad uh, like a new one so you want that just click update when you do that it's gonna start preparing and from the top bar you can see extracting software um, on the ipad it's still the same it's not showing anything once it's completed here it's gonna start loading on my ipad i will show you step by step So there are both ways. First, um, I just explained to you if you want to, if you download your own firmware and you wanna update that, you can shift and click update. You, the browser will open, you can select your own one. Uh, the one I'm gonna go with, I'm just gonna restore and update the latest one, the update, and then install that. So for that, you have to click on restore update. When you do that, it will give you the option to restore and update. Click on that and next, agree. And then as you can see, you start downloading our software here. So it's 7.13 gig, gonna take 12 minutes to download. And then I'm just gonna uh, restore this latest update on this iPad. So yeah, just, just keep watching. So uh, after downloading um, this from here, you can see it start extracting now. So it started extracting the software onto the iPad. So it's gonna take a bit a while. So just wait and watch. I'll show you everything. And now it's, it's trying preparing iPad for restore. You can see that as well. Waiting for iPad. And on the iPad, it's nothing yet, but it will start showing as well. It's restarting with the Apple logo on it. So as you can see on the on the on the iPad, the bar is loading now. It's been, once it's completed, it's showing here as well, uh, restoring iPad firmware, and on this it's loading a bar as well. So you can see it's completing. So the process is fully completed now. It started verifying uh, verifying iPad software, and this is pretty quick. And here, as you can see, we have a tiny bar left as well. So we'll just wait a few more minutes and it will be completed. So uh, as you can see from the message, your iPad has been restored to factory settings and it's starting. So now that process is, process is completed. I'm just gonna put this on the side and the iPad is uh, starting again. It's restarting. I'll show you step by step. It's gonna come from like a like when you turn on the brand new iPad uh, from the main setup page, and we're gonna see here if it's gonna bring to that uh, to that uh, password page or not. Because I hope you remember we we forgot the password on this iPad or any of your iPad, and then we are doing this process because we don't know the password. We have to reset to to break the password. And to log in or get in to your iPad. So that is the plan. It's restarting now. It just uh, 
it just loading now all the settings and i'm just going to go through the whole setup with you guys as well and show you exactly everything so we we are on the hello page uh press and hold okay appearance you can start that continue quick start uh, if you have an another device you want to move to you can wait for that otherwise you can set up without select your wi-fi if you have otherwise continue i think you have to select use wi-fi i'm just going to use my home wi-fi so it's connecting to my home wi-fi um yes continue without continue so you can set up for myself set up later on so as you can see like i was telling you you can create your own password now from the beginning again it is asking you uh yes use anyway i'm just setting up for a test just to show you guys that okay uh if you have any backup you can do that i don't have i'm just gonna go without that forgot and set up later don't use boom so we are in we are in the tablet since i successfully updated the uh, firmware it did not ask me one time the password which we forgot of this tablet i forgot of this tablet i'm sure you did on yours if you're watching this video you're here to restart or reset or i can fix that so as you can see it did not ask me and it asked me again the password i reset while after the update so now all good to go so i hope this video is valuable to you and if you like the video please like and subscribe and share with your friends who don't know and who want to uh, reset their tablet and they're worried what they can do if, you, if they forgot that don't worry about that and if there's any other video you want me to make of any other device uh, which you want me to reset so please let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching have a good day bye bye